Hey guys, this is Bates with Gallup Technology Group and on this video I want to share with you what plus addressing is and when you should use it. Plus addressing is a feature that exists for quite a while with Microsoft 365 but also with Google, G Suite, etc. And basically what it means is that instead of giving your direct email address to register to get a quote online or to download an ebook or to get a registration code for uh, an event or sign up for one time, anything one time, where you know that the company that you give your email address to will be using that email to uh, promote stuff to you or spam you or sell your email address to other databases. Plus addressing will give you the ability to play with that in, in a lot more, with a lot more flexibility. So here is what it looks like. If we're going to go, for example, to adp.com, I'm just picking on them because it's easy, and uh, we're going to start a quote over here. Um, obviously, when we fill in the information, what we need, you're going to see over here that they're asking us for an email address. Obviously, they're going to require an email address to send us a quote, or even if they're going to call us, I'm sure that they're going to want to have our email address to follow up with us. And what I did over here is I actually put our regular email address, info, at galloptechgroup.com, but I also add the, added the plus sign and then a random number. What I'm going to do over here is actually info at adp at galloptechgroup.com. That's going to cause any email that's sent to this address to actually land in the inbox of this email account, info at galloptechgroup.com. And that is going to be great because when we get those emails, it will show that the email came to this specific address. And then we can simply create a rule on Outlook or on your spam filter to ignore or delete automatically any email that's sent to this address from that point on. Why is it important? Because if you don't track where that email was sent to, and you're just going to try to unsubscribe from everything. If ADP, for example, is selling all of your information that they collect over here to other sub companies that they own or other databases, you're going to have to start disabling or unsubscribing from so many different mailing lists, which will be a lot of annoying time consuming activities. If you create a rule on your Outlook or on your Microsoft 365 admin portal to automatically delete any email going to info plus ADP at galloptechgroup.com, you will not get any more emails from that, but it will not affect your info at galloptechgroup.com either. You can have almost, I think, unlimited amount of plus aliases or plus addresses, sorry. So if you're using it for ADP, and then after five minutes you want to download um, an ebook from another vendor, you can do info plus vendor name at galloptechgroup.com, etc. So once you give that email address there, you will be getting those emails in your inbox. Now let me show you how to enable the the email address, the plus addressing. If you go to your Exchange Admin Center on your Microsoft 365 portal and you go to Settings, under the Settings you have Mailflow. And in there, you're going to see the Turn On Plus Addressing and you can click on Learn More over here, which is uh, going to give you quite a lot more information that explains what it looks like, what happens to those emails, when to use it or not to use it. Very simple to understand and very recommended that you actually uh, use it if you're planning on... Um, registering and giving your email address to all those vendors. Again, my name is Bates. If you have any questions, please reach out 480-614-4227 extension 1 for tech support and send me an email to my plus address. <laughs> Bye guys.